Hey everyone and welcome to iSimplify Tech. In this quick video I'm gonna show you how to update any Sony head unit with the latest firmware. Before you start you need to make sure you have an empty USB flash drive formatted in a FAT32 format. Now all we have to do is go to the Sony support webpage, you just Google for Sony support or just go straight to the URL that I provided in the description. Once you get here you need to search for the model unit which in my case it's XAVAX100 and then head to the download section. Once you get to the download section here you will find the firmware version and the date that was released. Just Click on it and it's gonna take you to the to the page where it contains a lot of information about the new firmware such as uh, release date and what's gonna bring new to your head unit and uh, also there are a bunch of instructions but if you follow my video you should be fine. Double check that this firmware is for your model number otherwise it may destroy or break your unit. Once you're ready to go just click the download button and scroll down to accept the terms and the file will be in your computer. The file will be a zip file, make sure you unzip the file and drag and drop the folder in your USB flash drive. Next step is to check what firmware version you currently have on your uh, Sony device. You can simply do that by going to the settings and scrolling down to the firmware version. And here you can see what version you currently have on your device. In my case there is an update available which is 10209. So now you have to plug in the USB and the update button will be no longer grayed out and you will be able to tap it. Once you tap it it's gonna ask you to confirm the new firmware version and then tap again on update and this process is gonna take some time in my case it took around six minutes so please be patient and make sure you turn on the engine before you do this in order to avoid any unexpected shutdowns which may cause the device to be messed up the device is gonna reboot a few times but you will know when it's ready you will see the Sony sign and you can go to the settings and double check the new firmware version make sure it's the latest one. That's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to click like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.